The Supreme Court has allowed an appeal against the High Court's rejection of a claim that the government's children's referendum information campaign was biased towards a yes vote. Mark McChrystal of Kilbarrick Road, Dublin, claimed that the government was wrongly using 1.1 million euro of public funds to promote a yes vote. For more on this, I'm joined now from the courts by our reporter Vivian Trainer. Uh, Vivian, can you first of all uh, outline uh, the decision by the Supreme Court this morning? Yes, John, well, the Supreme Court held that the principles laid down in the McKenna judgment were well established and under those principles, the government was not allowed to use public money to promote one side or other in a referendum campaign. And it said it found that extensive passages in the leaflets distributed by the government and on its website um, did not conform to these principles. It granted a declaration that the government had acted wrongfully in spending public money to uh, promote a campaign which was not fair, equal or impartial as required. Now Mark McChrystal, who took this case originally losing in the High Court and appealing to the Supreme Court, said as a result of today's decision by the Supreme Court, people should think very carefully about this referendum. We just had a clear and unanimous decision by the Supreme Court. The state has been unfair in this referendum using taxpayers' money to get a yes vote in this referendum, leaving voters uninformed about what this referendum is really about and the state taking over parental rights and harming the family. Government publications, for example, were incorrect. There's been little effort or no effort to actually make corrections. Uh, so uh, people should pay careful attention now at this stage to the government uh, use their tax, you know, the taxpayers' money uh, in a way which is not consistent with a free and open democracy. Uh, Vivian, what effect then will this uh, ruling have? I presume the referendum vote goes ahead. Yes, it will go ahead. Um, in the light of today's decision, the court said it was neither necessary nor appropriate to grant an injunction against these leaflets or the website or advertising campaign. But it said that presumably, or it could be assumed, that the government would take note of this declaration and cease to publish or distribute its leaflets or its website or its advertisements in this campaign. Now, Mark McChrystal would not be drawn on whether or not there will be a fresh challenge to the referendum going ahead or indeed to the result of that referendum when we get the result. He wouldn't be drawn on that at this stage, but it is open to possibility. Okay, thanks very much indeed uh, for that, Vivian Trainer.